Hello my Avengers, Melissa here, and today I am painting a commission for my good friend May, and he has graciously consented for me to create a video for this piece. May sent me this picture of Captain America and said this was what he wanted, so I got straight to work. I actually felt that the colour scheme of the original background worked really well with the emotion in this picture. The blue and grey tones felt like a good fit, so I decided to stick with what worked. The colours I used were titanium white, sky blue, phthalo blue and cold grey. For the flecks across the background I used Payne's grey mixed with a little of the cold grey and some water. This is the first time, and definitely not the last time, you will see me using masking film. I am incredibly proud of this background because I was able to blend all of the colours properly and it's created this beautiful effect. I genuinely love it. I am a big fan of the MCU and whilst the fine Captain Steve Rogers is not my absolute favourite, he still ranks pretty high on the list. His character arc is really consistent, he has always wanted to do good. Even as that scrawny kid who enlisted and everybody laughed at, he so desperately wanted to fight for his country and the people that he loved. He always wanted to protect. And whilst that might be sickeningly good, it is also very adorable. So that sick little kid took a super soldier serum and beefed up into the Captain America we know and love. And well, then he just didn't quit. He went and kicked Nazi butt, got frozen in the Arctic for 70 years, joined the Avengers, fought aliens, fought Loki, fought his best friend slash kind of villain the Winter Soldier aka Bucky Barnes, fought Ultron, he fought Thanos, and he can even wield Mjolnir. Captain got the most beautiful ending he could have. He travelled back in time to marry the love of his life, Peggy Carter. <sighs> Isn't he just perfect? He is played by the delightful Chris Evans, a thoroughly handsome chap and a great actor. This is a man who can really play any role. He began in sort of comedy movies, I would say. He was in things like Not Another Teen Movie and The Perfect Score. Then, for his first foray into the Marvel Universe, he played Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four. And as much grief as the original Fantastic Four films got, I actually preferred them to the new one. Controversial opinion, I know, but it was more along the lines of comic book humour instead of dark and depressing and awful like the new one is but that is just my personal taste. My absolute hands down favorite role of Chris Evans and I just lose my mind whenever I watch it is as Curtis Everett in the Snowpiercer film. I know I've spoken about this film before but genuinely I cannot get enough of it. I must have watched it a hundred times. It is definitely his most emotional role and he plays it so incredibly well. For such a big guy and he's attractive too he makes himself so weak and small, he's so reluctant to lead. Snowpiercer is one of my all-time favourite films, and apart from John Hurt's character Gilliam, Chris Evans is my favourite character in the film. It is an absolute must-see. So, this will be all for today. I will now gladly hand ownership of this artwork over to May. This was an absolute pleasure to paint. And May, I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do so. It's a beautiful picture. If anybody else would like anything produced for them, any artwork, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me and I will see what I can do. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>